Alright guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on that post notifications. Jeez, it's been a while. Might be a little windy, but it's just because we're in the middle of some some hills, literally. But yeah, but today's video, we're pretty much just going to be reviewing the Pony. It's a 2015 Mustang GT. We're going to review the cons, the pros, the things I don't like. And then uh, just review it overall. Check out some features that it comes with. Yeah. Uh, so right now it doesn't have any modifications on the engine. It's basically stock. But we do have an exhaust, some quad tips, you know, little details like that. Uh, over overall, the car is an amazing car. I haven't had any major issues with the car. Uh, it gets a lot of compliments and gets a lot of hate at the same time. I've never, I never thought I would own a car that has so much hate towards it. It's probably because it's a Mustang, you know. I've been having the car for about two, three years, pretty much. Some of the mods that I have, you could say, it's a spoiler, some overs, uh, R1 concept rotors, DT350 bumper, carbon fiber uh, steering wheel. So basically, if you're trying to buy the GT, uh, here's some little cons and pros, I guess you could say, that you could be aware of. Starting with number one, the most annoying thing that I just never liked about the car is how dirty the wheels get. I literally just washed the car 10 minutes ago, and it already has a lot of brake dust. And basically the reason for it is just because of the Brembo brakes. As you can see, all the brake dust just lands on the wheels. This is one of the main things that annoy me about the car. Uh, well, not about the car, but the brakes that comes with. They're great brakes, but they're just really dirty. It's hard to keep them clean. And it's basically only the front ones because the back ones don't really get that dirty. They're still pretty good. The second one would be, no matter how many alignments you get on this car, it always seems to go towards the crowd. And then the bumper on the car. It's a common thing for the clip on the side of the bumper to actually break. And then you have this part just hanging out. So that's pretty much one of the main reasons that I would I actually got a aftermarket bumper. Just because of the edges. They kind of break off too easily. And then if you're low. You're obviously gonna push the bumper up and then that's where the brake happens and it's not a good thing i feel like i don't really have issues with the car i absolutely love the car it does come with some features though we're about to test them out one of the other things that i absolutely love about the car is the gauges on the car the oil pressure one the gadgets on the car are just so nice on this it makes the car look more sporty and it just gives it a nice look to the interior. One of the things I actually don't like about the car is the screen on the car. It's absolutely so small. My phone is literally bigger than the screen. And then a little detail that a lot of people don't know about this is the little button on the back of the trunk. This little button right here that you click, it unlocks the trunk. I know a lot of people knew about that, but there's some people that just don't know about it. So. Now I do have a manual, so I don't have a push to start. But for the guys that don't know, for the people that don't know, if you double click the unlock button on the key, it lowers the window key. Then you double click the unlock button, and then you hold it, and it should lower the windows. And you stop it by locking it. 
So you know, in case it's summer, it's hot in here, uh, just unlock the windows. You can just lower the windows with the unlock button. Uh, double click and then hold it, it lowers the windows. Fun fact. I am gonna show you guys the launch control and the... Uh... So once you have, once you're in that setting, you click the launch control, you click the RPM that you wanna set it to. We're gonna set it to, let's see. It's a little bit though, I don't know if you felt it. Like at the beginning, it didn't grip up and it didn't caught on. Yeah. So that's basically the launch control. Uh, obviously, we could go higher, but we're in a Mustang. We do not want to hit a crowd. But overall, the car just feels so good when you drive it. It feels aggressive, it feels smooth. juice they gave you? Palm juice? <laughs> Another thing that I mean I don't find it that hard but I mean gas right now it's crazy it's like stupid expensive you're constantly gonna be pumping gas how many times did I pump gas today bro like three times four times we pump gas like four times today I'm just driving around and all that I mean obviously I do pulls and all that so it's gonna waste the gas faster but just keep in mind if you do get a 5.0 gonna be burning gas bro but before we continue to the little burnout we're gonna let my ether drive the 5.0 so he's actually driven a fox body what year was it uh 1984 i think 1984 fox body bro stick shift too he said he wasn't able to drive it that much so i'm kind of skeptical about letting him drive the car so if he stops the car, we're gonna squid game him. <laughs> just do it right now, for real, like, just do it right now. That's the original deal, we got TikTok, we got POV. <laughs> we got the whole thing, we have camera in the back of the car. All right, bro, don't stop my car, bro. <laughs> don't stop my car. I don't even know where to begin from. <laughs> All with you left, and then It is pushed. All the way in? All the way in, bro. Okay. Alright, so you're in first gear, bro. Oh, okay. You gotta let go of the clutch slowly and then give it gas. So let go of the clutch slowly. So let go of the clutch slowly. Let go of the clutch slowly. And then give it gas. There you go. Let go. You can let go, give it gas. Let go of the clutch. Drive like it's a normal car. Like if it's your troca. Yeah, you got it, bro. Now watch out, don't go to the zen, bro. <laughs> Stay on the road. Damn. Now, I'm a fucking natural. Now put the clutch all the way in and then go to second gear. You're gonna go down. So clutch in, take your time, clutch in, go to second. Go to second, let go of the clutch slowly and give it gas like it's a normal car. There you go. Damn, bro. Shit. He got it. That's right. That's crazy, bro. And then you go to third. Clutch in. Then third is up. And then I go to the clutch and then just give it gas. <laughs> no way. Alright, now clutch in. Put it on neutral. Alright, now you can break. You gotta go to the clutch. It's on neutral. You actually did it, bro. Oh my god, I'm a natural baby. Same thing, bro. Alright, so put this up. 
clutch in. So brake first and then clutch? Well, you have to hold on the brake. So you put the clutch in, uh-huh. and then you put it on gear. And you're gonna let go of the clutch slowly and give it gas. Give it gas, there you go. You can let go of the clutch. As soon as it moves, you can let go of the clutch slowly. All right, now go to second. Stop. Clutch in. Oh, you gotta start all over now. First, and then they go the clutch slowly and give a guess. The way you turn on the car, you uh, give it, put in the clutch, and then press the start. Now you put the clutch in, put it on first gear, and you let go of the of the, of the clutch slowly. As soon as it starts moving, you give it gas. Give it gas. There you go. Give it gas. All right. Let's see. Now go to second gear. Put it on the clutch in, and then go all the way down. Let go of the clutch. It's easy, huh? Somewhat. I'm getting it slowly. Give it a little. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> So you're gonna, you're gonna drive by yourself, bro. Don't crash my car. Like if there's a bunch of cars here. You'll get it stuck. Ready? So you're gonna drive the car. Yeah, I'm gonna buy myself a you can move the seat back if you feel more comfortable. But remember, you have to be close to the clutch. Let me see, take off the handbrake. There you go. So now, nah, give it. That looks good. Hold up. They'll get carried away. He actually got it. Something about seeing the car drive by itself, I like it. I didn't. <laughs> Look at him running. Look at a little figure. Running. Look at him. <laughs> I've been going to catch up to this guy. I don't know if you can stop. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I haven't been by himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
my guy. <laughs> oh, I'm out of breath, bro. You already know how. You didn't stop, right? You look good at one of them too, bro. <laughs> All right. So what do you rate it, bro? What do you think about the car? A 10? 10 out of 10. You should get one, bro. Hey. Okay. I used to have the, the thing connected, but I would swing my car too much that the wires inside disconnected, so it doesn't light up no more. Damn, bro. All right, so basically it was just supposed to be a little car review, but I let my brother-in-law drive the car and then we're gonna do a little burnout and then just to show you guys, you know, some content or whatnot. We got some new TikToks on my new TikTok, so go check that out. And yeah, we're gonna end the video with a burnout. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Do all those things till next time.